Hey everyone, welcome to High Vibe In It. Today we just wanted to pop into your earbuds and give you a little bit of love and inspiration during these crazy times when everyone's freaking out and shit's hitting the fan and your anxiety is probably on an all-time high. Um, we just want to make this a short and sweet little episode to help give you some tools and some pointers and some wisdom to kind of help you help yourself through these times. So yeah. that's why we're here. That's our intention. And this is... Yeah, definitely an unscheduled. We actually yesterday decided, me and Kelsey thought it would be a really good idea to just come on and talk to you guys and check in and see how you're doing. Because even if you're not giving into the panic, even if you're not really giving into the fear and you're doing really good with that aspect, we're all still stuck in our houses. <laughs> like we're all still on lockdown and it can feel monotonous and it can feel tedious and overwhelming, you know, within the four walls of your home, especially if you add kids and, you know, now you have to do the whole homeschool thing like I'm having to do and all the other regular challenges of it's life. It's just overwhelming. There's a lot right now. So we want to just come on and maybe lighten the load a little bit and give you some uh, tips. We're all going through it and Kelsey and I are definitely in the same boat and it's kind of nice because when was the last time the world really came together like this? If you think about, and I was just thinking about this in the shower, you know, all the good things and ideas and like downloads come when you're like, mind is clear, <clears throat> excuse me. But I was thinking about never really in the world as we know it, have we all been so connected, you know, via social media and uh, all the technology that we have available and at the same time, completely separate from each other, right? It's crazy. We've never felt more separate. Like I know before leading up to this, everybody was doing everything online anyway. And also, you know, with the cyber bullying and it was like people turning against each other because with all the connection we have, we've kind of like lost our oneness. Does that make sense? And I was thinking about that today and I was just like, what a weird way for us with this shutdown slash quarantine for us to all really feel like we are all in the same boat right now. Everyone, celebrities, rich people, poor people, people of all backgrounds, all races, the world is doing the same thing right now. When was the last time we were able to do that? Really? It's crazy, right? Anyway, all that to say, this is a really cool opportunity for us to like really feel that oneness. And I guess you could call it, what is it? Like the collective consciousness or something. Mm -hmm. And really feel that we are all one and we are all the same. And no more, I, I know I felt it more palpably than I really have in a long time. What about you? I mean, yeah, I think that um, emergencies always bring people together in that kind of sense where you drop like the barriers of skin color and where you're yeah. from and what you like and everyone's just... Um, going but this is this. like on a whole new level that we've never even seen before. Like we are yeah. literally all sitting on our couches watching TV. Mm -hmm. That's if it. If you have a couch. That's true. And if you have a couch, if you have a TV. Which we're assuming you that's do if your you're thing. listening to this most likely. But yeah, uh, it's, it's just, it's it was a such a huge like, and I've been, you know, I've been feeling it since we started this, but it, it's, it's such a huge shift and the climate's probably able to take a breath for a minute to um, yeah. maybe clear up. I know, what was it in Venice that the waters are like clear for the first time and like the fish and, and stuff are starting to come back? China and wow. other places. It's, There's a lot it's of crazy, good to be like seen. how resilient the earth is when we're not Gosh, like right? constantly destroying it. You just let it breathe for a week and it's already like regenerating itself. Yeah, it's amazing. Pretty much. Anyway, um, there's a lot of good that's happening right now. And I think part of what we want to talk about today is really not losing sight of the amazing stuff that's able to come out of this. And, you know, you see those memes where it's like, when this is over, and it will be, you know, let's, let's rest assured that it's going to pass. But all the restaurants will be booked out for months. Everyone's going to go see movies. Everyone's going to hang out with people and, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go back to normal, but it's going to have, I feel like, this surge of people flooding into businesses and sports games are going to be sold out and, you know, like, parties are going to be happening. It's just going to be like a celebration. But until yes. then, we kind of have to hunker down and really focus on the good things and focus on why, you know, this is happening. Not necessarily why it's happening, but what we can get out of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like for me, a main point of focus has been what is this whole situation helping me to realize that I need on an ongoing yeah, basis? Exactly. Right now, I can start implementing those things and giving them to myself on a daily basis. But then, even when this is all over, taking that with me into the future. Because, like, for example, what I've realized is that rest is such an important part of my content creation process, uh, writing books, creating YouTube videos, making these um, podcast episodes. Like, when I have more downtime to rest and take care of myself, that's when the inspiration comes naturally. When I'm busy doing a lot of different things, I'm too spread out, even though sometimes I do enjoy being busy, but the inspiration doesn't flow right. as easily. And then there's not time to actually express the inspiration when it comes. And so I've just been realizing like, man, I really need to get my schedule in alignment with how I function the best so that I can keep providing Absolutely. this type of content for everyone and doing it in a way that just feels really good. Mm -hmm. So if you guys find that you have more time because of this, look for the pockets of inspiration that you could be getting. Look for the opportunities where those inspirations can come to you. Um, and if you don't, let's say like in my situation, okay, I feel like I have less because my kids are not in school um, and I actually have to come up with things to keep their brains not becoming mush. I, I understand and I've seen those um, people that are coming out and saying like, don't try to give your kid an eight hour school schedule. Just make sure that they're happy. And you know, there's a lot of fear going on right now, but at the same time, and I get that they're do like maybe an hour and a half to two hours of like fun school games kind of thing a day. Um, but I need that time. I need to give them something to do or I will go stir crazy and I'm not going to have any time to myself. So if you're in the same boat as me, um, do, hopefully you're able to do what I'm trying to do is come up with a, a, an alternate schedule for this time. Cause we're going to have to adjust some things and move some stuff around and really prioritize your mental health time, <laughs> your emotional health time. Um, this is super therapeutic for me, but it's not all I need. You know, I'm still going to need those moments to just be by myself. Um, yesterday I felt really overwhelmed. It seemed like it was a nonstop day. We have a lot of stuff going on with the house and um, paperwork that needs to be signed and places to be, even though we're not supposed to be going anywhere. So it's re it's felt really hard yesterday. I felt very overwhelmed. Today, I feel a little better. It also was a new moon in Aries yesterday, and I'm in Aries. So I definitely feel like I felt a lot of that energy too. But yeah, you got to find time for yourself. You have to prioritize that me time because... What, what are you going to do? Like, what's the alternative? Is You're going to go stir crazy. Um, cabin fever is a real thing. I don't care what size your house is. I don't care where you are. You need to prioritize that time. Um, anyway, I think this is great that we're both talking to people about this because we're both in such different situations that we can really speak to like, well, our kind, our experiences, which is, you know, that we're very different in some ways. And I think that's a great thing when you're talking to a big group of people, you know? Yeah. Our lives are like really not opposite, but they're just filled with different stuff. Yes, different sides of a spectrum. Um, I want to touch a little bit on how can people start handling their fear and anxiety with the most like compassion because it's easy to be like, uh, I don't want to sit here and just feel anxious all day, which like we get that. Nobody wants to like be in that space all the time. But at the same time, you need to like honor the embodiment of your emotions, which is something that we are talking about in an upcoming episode with Sarah Small. We get a lot into this. Um, yeah. We just recorded that the other day and it was so good. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. But essentially, when you're going through times where you have more stillness, you're gonna notice that emotions that haven't been processed yet are going to come to the surface because they finally have space in your life to like be seen. Um, and when that happens, you can either react in one of two ways. You can keep pushing it back down and be like, okay, I don't want to feel this. This is annoying. It's always bothering me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> or, and there's a reason why it's always bothering you and I'll get to that in a second. Or you can be like, okay, I finally have time to process this and navigate this. How about I just sit on the couch for a few minutes and yeah. Notice what it feels like in my body to be anxious without necessarily going down the thought pattern of anxiety, but just embodying it and letting it live in your physical space for a little bit. 
And then notice after just even one, two, five minutes of hanging out with it, it'll start to subside naturally. And that's the emotional healing. That's bringing um, resolution to the emotion. And like I said before, when they keep coming back, it's because they don't get resolved. So if you're like one of those people that has chronic anger issues and you're always like denying your anger then you get triggered and it like blows up it's because it's still Mm -hmm. boiling under the surface because you never resolved it but when you take the time to consciously be like okay i'm gonna be angry today i'm gonna throw some pillows i'm gonna punch my bed i'm gonna do whatever to get it out of my body you process it and it becomes resolved and then it doesn't keep coming back to tap on your shoulder like hey pay attention to me heal me love me like right And here's the thing, when we are living day to day in the way the world used to be, right? When we're going to work and then socializing and, you know, having all these sorts of distractions, you very well may be in a position right now where all of those distractions have completely disappeared. Time to deal with your shit. (laughs) So again, there's another thing that's coming up that maybe is, like you said, like, what is, how is this serving me? How can this make me better? How can this situation that we're all going through right now really make me a better person. And this is a great way. If you find yourself not distracted, what have you been ignoring? Uh, And don't be surprised if it comes in maybe not full force, but if it taps you on the shoulder first and is like, hey, remember me? You might want to figure this out first. Um, This is a great opportunity to do that. Uh, I also want to say, don't judge yourself for bad days. You're going to have bad days. This is so, it's it's definitely going to be Oh my gosh. Like I can't emphasize this enough. Like we are all going through such a crazy energetic shift that it's going to be almost impossible to stay high vibe all the time. It is in in general anyway, but especially now when all we have is us and we're going within constantly, um, you're going to be evolving and that's uncomfortable. So don't judge yourself for bad days. Don't judge yourself for feeling overwhelmed. Look at these things as opportunities to shift, grow, evolve, and become better on the other side, whatever better means to you, right? I always look at it as just growth in general. Yeah. I mean, if you have time, you could literally treat this as like, okay, here's my three weeks of therapy. <laughs> I can catch up on some healing work that I need to do or haven't done. or And it, it's going to find you. So like, it's not yeah. something you have to force. Like it'll, it'll come to you and you'll know if it's time yeah. to start doing that type of work. And if you need support, support is there for you. Just know you're not doing this alone. You don't have to. Nobody has to do anything alone, really. Um, But the support is there if you need it. it. For sure. And I was going to say something else. I was going to say, oh, I was going to put a little caveat to what you said about being high vibe all the time. Like we don't, what we don't want you to do is be like forcing yourself to be yeah. positive when you don't authentically feel optimistic. It doesn't serve you in the slightest. What actually will help to raise your vibration is if you're authentic about however you are feeling. So if you're yes. feeling super shitty and you're at least honest about that, you actually will be in a high vibrational state, even if you're technically in a state that feels low. But mm-hmm. releasing the judgment, like how Lindsay said, is how you go from being resistant to your emotions to just feeling anything and kind of letting it flow through you without the judgment then you're not in a low vibe state anymore it's when you say i'm angry and i shouldn't be angry or i'm not allowed to be angry or i'm not going to be angry that's when you're blocking your own power and your own healing but when you remove the judgment and you validate how you feel like if you're scared like hello a lot of people are scared right now and you have like every reason to be scared like it's scary if you're about to lose your job it's scary if you Um, can't find what you need at the grocery store like that's okay to be scared and just reminding yourself like it's okay to feel how I feel you're gonna feel so much better even if you're feeling bad (laughs) and if you're feeling look I'm gonna be the first one to say if you're feeling resentful for having now to carry the burden of teaching your kids (laughs) it's okay to be resentful about that feel that if you're mad because your sports game got canceled and now you can't go on your trip to Hawaii or you, you know, can't see your boyfriend or girlfriend as much as you want because it was already a long distance relationship. And now you can't go there for the weekend. I don't know. I don't care what it is. You're allowed to be mad and resentful and pissed off at this situation. You're allowed to be scared. You're even allowed to panic. If you give yourself like five minutes to be full on panicky, I would put a time limit on it for sure because you can't (laughs) think rationally and make you know, clear decisions if you're constantly in that state of panic. But 
you're allowed to feel it. You're allowed to feel it all. And there's no unreasonable feeling because it's all, what is it? It's all a message and it's all <laughs> trying to tell you something. And it's all uh, either trying to tell you something or it needs something from you, which I guess is still a message. So it's just about tuning in, figuring out where it's coming from, not judging, but observing with love. Okay. We need to be kind to each other and kind to ourselves in this time. Um, <laughs> And that goes for the people that you're hunkered down with as well. It's going to be probably easy to lose your temper at your spouse or your partner or your kids. Yeah. Or, I mean, there's a lot of energy going around right now. So just take care and be kind as much as you can to yourself and to everyone around you. Because we're, we're all just doing our best. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> That's like the what we have. Right? Everyone's just doing the best <laughs> they can with what they know and where they're at. Yeah. That's no one's ever gone through this before, okay? Nobody living today has gone through this kind of global pandemic. And, and whether or not it's warranted, whether or not you feel like we're in any immediate danger, everybody is still quarantined. Everybody is still doing what they're doing and, and the world is still where it is right now. So let's just do the best we can with what we have and treat each other with love and kindness. Yeah. And We'll have a party when it's over, but <laughs> until then, we'll just take good care of ourselves and yeah. do the best. So let's talk about some tools that we wanted to share with everyone. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm really excited about. Can I, can I go first? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of just like jumped Don't in Don't be there. sorry. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelsey, I love you. Okay. So I, this weekend, created a hypnosis. I put it in my Facebook group and I think I sent an email to you guys, but um, I created a hypnosis for releasing overwhelm. So this specifically has to do with what's going on right now. I tailored this and designed this around exactly what uh, the feedback that I got from you guys um, when I asked the question, what would you like me to include? So it, it, I did my best to include the specific words that you guys gave me, but you can download it for free. I'm of course giving it to you guys for free. So if you will leave the link here, um, but it's, it's a free download that you guys can just start using right away whenever you start feeling panicky or anxiety or just, you know, that sense of like instability because we just don't know what's going to happen or how this is going to shake out really. So if you want some more peace and feel like you have more control in your life and over your emotions and what you can actually have power over, then this is a really good download for you guys to access um, as my gift to you. I'm using what I know to bring value to the situation. It's and I know free, Kelsey guys. Wait, that. is it free? Totally free. It's free, you guys. A free yeah. hypnosis from Lindsay is the shit. So go check that out. We're going to put the link in the description. And also, what tools do I have that are helpful? You got so some good ones. I'm someone who has a lot of tools for anxiety because that's kind of like my baseline if I'm not like tending to myself really well. So what I've been liking and what's been helping me is I'm reading this book called The Wisdom of Anxiety by Cher Cheryl Paul. Um, and the subtitle is How Worry and Intrusive Thoughts Are Gifts to Help You Heal. Yeah. And it's kind of like what I was talking about before, using your triggers as opportunity for healing. And it helps you to learn how to self-soothe and it gives you some practical exercises. And the whole thing is just very nice and very helpful. And I really appreciate the perspective of befriending your anxiety as opposed to mm -hmm. pushing it away, which is only going to cause more fragmentation and more wounding, like yeah. long term. And then as far as like plant medicine and stuff goes, supplements that can help you during this time. CBD. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, CBD. <laughs> What's our link for feels? Mm, get, is it get feels Hold you research that while i talk about this other thing yeah what i was gonna say is lemon balm is a really great tincture that you can get at most like health grocery stores or you can probably order it online and i used to always take it for anxiety but i just learned that it's also a really great antiviral so it helps oh. to boost your immune system as well so it's a win-win perfect for the situation you just put it in your mouth let it sit there for like 20 seconds and then swallow. It doesn't taste the best ever, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> yeah. So you can take that up to five times a day. So whenever you're having an anxious moment, it just helps to really regulate your nervous system and boost your immune, your immunity. Um, and then what else? Oh, I've been telling people to go like 
if you're just sitting around feeling anxious all day, there are better ways to like use your energy, <laughs> like channel it into something that feels good. So maybe yeah. you could pick up a new hobby or a new habit or learn a new Or an habit. old hobby that you didn't have time to do before. <laughs> yeah. Or like catch up on organizing or whatever. But um, one of our sponsors, Skillshare, gives all of our listeners two months free. So if you go to Skillshare.com slash Vibin, you can sign up and you'll have access to all these cool classes that are like for painting and drawing and photography and online stuff. And there's classes for everything. Like you could learn anything you wanted to on Skillshare. Um, so I would definitely check that out if you're just sitting around bored or if you're in your anxiety so much that you're just like cannot deal. Like make time for fun too. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's important. And I was actually thinking about, I've been feeling called to do more of my old artistic stuff. I used to paint, I used to sketch, dude, I used to just create, you know what I mean? And I, mm -hmm. after I started creating children, I never wanted to get back <laughs> to it. The ultimate creation. The ultimate creation. <laughs> I just, uh, so I've been thinking about maybe, <laughs> getting back into some of that. My son just got a paint set, so I might just use kid paint and try stuff. Um, so you want the feels? I found it. Yes. The feels code, if you guys want. So feels is the CBD sponsor that we love and have. Yeah. And it's great. It's a, it's like a, a tincture, right? It's like a, mm -hmm. you, it's a dropper yeah. that you just uh, take orally. And if you guys want 50% off your first order with free shipping, go to F-E-A-L-S feels.com slash vibin. So that's our code V I B I N feels.com like F E A L S. And that's 50% off your first order and free shipping. It's really, really cool. I said it again. And <laughs> you have everything to gain because it is a really, really great product. Um, I, I speak very highly of it because I needed to use it, um, a few times and it's really, really good. Right. Yeah. Kels, do you like it? I love it. I take yeah. it almost every day. And Do you really? It's cool because it gives you like the amount to take for what your intention is. So if you just want to like yeah. relax a little bit, you take this much. If you're trying to like sleep, you take this much. Yeah. Um, and I found it to be a really awesome, helpful tool. Yeah. And completely safe and effective. Yeah, totally. Um, also, I wanted to mention that my, my online program, Radical Self Love, this would be a good time to look into that because it's basically – centered around teaching you how to hold space for all types of emotions and how to love yourself through any circumstance. So that's so important right now. And that's a really awesome tool that you can access. It's like having coaching with me, but for way less time and way less money. Cause I just get to the nitty gritty, like exercises of what you actually need to do to love yourself unconditionally, start accepting the parts of you that you never have before, how to heal your emotions, all that jazz. So if you go to radicalselflovecourse.com, you can look into that. It's a really great resource. Even self-love coaches have gone through it and been like, this changed my life. So yeah. it's good stuff. Um, yeah. And I actually just, just put out an announcement in my emails that I'm doing. Um, a, it's not a huge discount, but it's a discount on my one-on-one. -on -one. So it's like, I think the six week is 15%. And then the nine and 12 is like 20%. I'm not sure actually it's in my emails and I'll have to look, but I am giving out a percentage off my one-on-ones because I really want to, you know, make sure I'm offering for you guys that might be going through a little bit more heavy stuff. Or if this, now that you have all the time in the world <laughs> to really work on some of this stuff, um, I'm here for you. So go check out my website or email me um, for more info on that. And I really just want you guys, I don't know about Kelsey, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be in the same boat as me, but I would love to hear how you guys are doing. If you wanna go to Patreon and share with us like <clears throat> what your challenges have been or what you found really helpful. Um, if you're not a patron yet, uh, you definitely should become one. <laughs> Sooner the better, it's patreon.com slash high vibe. But if you wanna just send us an email, you can do that as well, uh, Instagram, Kelsey Aida, Lindsay Robinson. Um, you can find us anywhere, but I really want to hear how you're doing. I want to connect with you guys because I know that it makes me feel better when I'm able to hear your stories and how you guys are doing and really feel like we're all in this together. So I want to just put that out there. 
Yes, connect with us, check out all these resources. If you want to work with a facilitator, hit up Lindsay. We'll put her email and um, website in the description. And if you want to do like a self-study thing while you're having more time at home, check out Radical Self-Love. And yeah, we hope this was a helpful little tidbit for you guys. We just wanted to pop in I wish here, we were taking live give calls. Give you some love. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> we, I wish this was a moment where we could be like, call in, let's chat. I really want to like, I feel this need to like reach out and like talk to people. Do it on your story. Yeah, maybe I'll do a live after this or something or like a, yeah, like a story. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Well, everyone stay safe out there. Wash your hands. We love you. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't leave the house. (laughs) Take care. Be healthy. Yes, we don't worry too much. (laughs) Take care, guys. Bye.